All right, welcome back to the fifteenth uh, tutorial in my series, and the third one in the calculator series. All right, so what we did last time, if for some reason you didn't watch, but I don't know why you wouldn't, because then you wouldn't have this code. But anyways, we finished up adding our um, buttons and stuff, and then we started our action performed uh, method. We dec uh, declared two double numbers, number one and number two. We um, ran two try catch blocks to validate that the number, yeah, the numbers are valid and we can use them. And the last thing we did was we made the string called op, which stands for operator, or I mean op to save time. And it's gonna be get uh, a dot get action command, and it's gonna be equal to a because my event a right here. So <clears throat> you'll see what that does right now. So down a couple, and I'm gonna do if op, and what this does is I'm gonna type in equals, and it's gonna search for a string. So if you can remember, our J button string for add was this um, plus symbol right here. So that is what we gotta type in right here. So not this number two thing. So if it op and if it equals string plus if it does if it equals that, well, then what do we want to do? We probably want to make a double called sum. So double sum is equal to number one plus number two. Simple enough. And then we're gonna set the text. And we're going to set the text to, uh, I think I'm going to do this, number one, and then plus, remember that plus, um, well you'll see, we need to put a plus in here because this plus is an operator, it's not like, they're not going to see that plus, they're going to see this one, and so, so far it's going to say, say the type into five, it's going to say five plus, and then we wanted to say, um, put another plus sign, and then number two plus equals plus um, sum. And getting errors. Let's see here. One plus. Okay, whatever. Uh, let me t try this again. <laughs> Result set text. So, first thing we need, number one plus plus <laughs> so many pluses plus uh, number two and plus equals plus sum. There we go. So, make sure you have that code exact, or else it. It won't script the calculation, but it won't display correctly, and it'll just look funny. So, and then I'm gonna actually set this text color to red so they can see it better. It just shows up better on a gray panel. So, so and then set foreground and color red. There we go. Now we are actually done with the plus. Uh, I don't know what you call it, operation. So now else if op equals and you should probably guess what goes in here and it's going to be minus uh... double diff or difference is equal to number one minus number two and then set the text um... I call number one and then minus uh... minus <laughs> Uh, number two equals diff. There we go. Set that to red also. Alright. So we're on a roll here. We got two done. There's two more to go. And put your asterisk sign, because remember, right here, that's what we'd use. Little asterisk sign. And this op is a string, so it just checks for what is in the quotes, just so you know. And then... Not. Nah. Alright, there we go. Fix that. 
Alright, so double. I don't know what a two multiplication is called. I think it may factor. I don't know. Let's call it factor. Um, and that's gonna be equal to number one times number two. Remember, this asterisk is what Java reads as a multiplication symbol. So what you and me would read as a dot or an x. Java reads as an asterisk. Just so you know. Number one uh, times number two, and then equals factor. Alright, now on to the division part. And we gotta go else if op equals a backslash. Alright, now. It's not going to be the same as all these because we actually. Oh, I forgot to set the uh, color. Alright, anyways. This, we have to check if they're going to divide by zero. And we can't do that because um, I believe it just says infinity or something if they do that. But I always want to give them an error. Sort of like, what? Your program's broken? No, you just try to divide by zero and we can't do that. So, we got to do this. Do another if statement, a nested if statement. So, if number two, and now it's going to check for a value, not a string, so if the value of the integer in number two is zero, then what do we want? Well, we want to say text, we want to say cannot divide by zero, and we want to set that to red also, so set for color red, and then else, so that means else means number two is not zero so that means that we can do the operation so now it's gonna be just like these ones up here so um, double uh, I think quotient, quotient is equal to number one divided by number two and then that's gonna be number one uh, divided by divided by number two uh, and that's going to be equal to the quotient. Just like that, and set foreground color red. Wow. So, we are, if I believe, yep, that's it for the action perform method. So, it was about, let's see, 81 to, about, it was about 45 lines of code. So, now, try to find where that ends. Uh, let's see here. Um, I think it's going to be right here. I don't know. I'll see. See if it gives me errors or not. <laughs> right? Yep, it was there. So, And then I'm going to quickly write uh, the main method. And then I'm going to go to the next video where we're going to use our calculator and see what how it turned out. So, calculator. GUI equals new calculator. And you should know what I'm doing here by now, so. My very first Java calculator if it is your first which I assume it is so got about one minute left in this video so uh, I'm not gonna run it because I'm gonna actually I'm gonna go off video and make sure I've done everything right and if I haven't I'll come back and tell you what to fix or else we're gonna take a look around and see what how it works in the next video so tune in it'll be called I think uh, it'll be the 16th one, or part 4 of the calculator series. See ya.